before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Visionary. With so many participants airing their life stories on the show, there have been numerous cases that have left the audience watching the show in complete awe. The actions of many of the participants surprised the viewers, and here's a list of 10 times my 600 pound life went fully ridiculous. Jeanne and her craving to drink soda. While Jeanne was driving with her mom to be interviewed by Dr. Now, she requested her mom to stop on their way. The reason she asked her mom to stop was quite alarming. She didn't ask her to stop to exercise her muscles or something. Rather, she wanted to drink a soda on her way. And that too, a very sugary one in a large size. She blamed her craving for the soda drink by saying that she needed sugars to calm down her nerves. Despite her actions and what all she had requested to eat and drink, she still complained about how people looked at her and talked about her when they passed by her car. Robert Buechel, Robert's story aired on the sixth season of the show, and this was the same reason in which he later passed away. Robert initially weighed almost 850 pounds, but due to the support of nature of his mother and his fiance, he was able to lose much of that weight. But soon after that, he started building an addiction for painkillers, where he would pull out his own stitches in order to receive painkiller prescriptions. He passed away in the same season due to a heart attack. Betty Jo's cruel husband. A very strange scene to witness on the show was when Betty Jo and her husband got aired on the show, where Betty Jo seemed to be very happy about the fact that she was going to get healthier. But her husband was not so much thrilled because he thought he would be losing his place as the sole caregiver of the couple. Shani and her faith. Despite the fact that Dr. Now is one of the only doctors in the entire planet who are actually willing to work after patients with such major obesity problems, Shani, a participant on the show, seemed very concerned about Dr. Now's faith in God. The most appalling of the matters was that Shani was in dire need of help. And without giving consideration to her medical needs, she continuously questioned Dr. Now on his religious beliefs. Her claim was that her being of such a size and her having gastric bypass surgery was all part of God's plan. Fetish for fat women. Comparing slimmer women to hot dogs and larger women to steaks, Zaylin's husband needed serious mental help for his cravings for fatter women. The problem was not in what he liked, but the problem was in fact that he did not wish for his wife to get healthier and better. Despite her strong wish to do so, luckily she was able to split with her husband afterward. But the scene where she moved into tears because of how her husband was treating her is completely awful. Lisa Fleming Another sad ending from the show, Lisa Fleming had a very strange start where her daughter found little maggots in her body. She did make many improvements, losing around 200 pounds, but her journey was doomed to end and thereafter she passed away in her Texas home, with her cause of death still being uncertain. Steven and his addiction to painkillers Despite seeming to be a normal teenager, Steven turned out to be much more than that. His infamous actions were where he tried manipulating medical staff into giving him painkillers, which made his reputation go down the drain in front of the viewers. He was seen coming to the hospital in an ambulance, where he requested just to have a refill of the painkillers he was prescribed. Where he was met by Dr. Now, who lashed out at him and said that the hospital's ambulance was not his Uber. Other hospitals were put on alert for his painkiller addictions. Brittany and her husband moving to Texas. Speaking about being fully determined, Brittany and her husband moved to Texas to make full use of their weight loss program being offered by Dr. Now and his hospital. As they moved to Texas, and enabled them to have easier access to the services provided by Dr. Now. And Brittany and her husband made it their top priority to start their journey for a better life. Her initial decision of moving out of her home state might have been a difficult one to make, but her weight loss progress definitely must have cheered them up. James King James King's case was surely something to watch considering the sacrifices his family and himself gave for him to get better. James' daughter even dropped out of school to look after him, and everything seemed to be getting better in his house. But soon after it was discovered that James had actually increased in weight, 
and that he was not following Dr. Now's instructions properly, Dr. Now even had to call Adult Protective Services on his girlfriend, who would secretly provide James with prohibited food while he was admitted at the hospital. James L.B. Bonner James was able to build quite some fan following on Facebook, where people would follow his successful journey to a healthier life. James would regularly upload photos of himself getting better, but it seems that physical health is not all that matters. James was tragically found dead, where he had shown himself and committed suicide. The cause of him committing suicide still remains unknown. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.